I think anybody who would pass on Marion Chapman because of an injury would be making a big mistake because um, he's one of those those special kids. He's not the biggest. He's probably not the fastest. But if you were to cut his chest open, his heart is as big as his room. He, he's a, the kind of kid that you win with. An ACL injury 10 years ago was the end of a kid's career. Um, but now you have kids having ACL surgeries, and, and in three or four months, they're back full speed. But if anybody can bounce back from an injury such as that, you know, my money's on Mary and Chapman. I would like to be a coach for a high school. I don't want to be like Coach Ball. I don't want to be better than Coach Ball. I think he'll be proud of me trying to be better than him. DQ is, I, I don't know how to describe DQ, but he is ranked number 10th in our class. But when we get on the football field, he can't remember right from left. So it's the dangest thing I've ever seen. Uh, Quentin is just because of his pure determination. He is undersized, but you can't tell him that. He's got one gear and it is wide open. He is just a pleasure to be around. But that's another young man that's gonna be successful because of his academics and his work ethic more so than, than what, he, what he does down here on the football field. I plan on going and playing for college for football, hopefully running back though. Uh, I plan on majoring in business. We haven't come from much, but I plan on getting us somewhere. Matt Lee is, is one of those guys that's, uh, I want to say 6'3", 6'4", 3'30", huge young man. Major upside with him. He's one that hits the specs on the college level, but he's another one that's extremely intelligent. And, and he's one of those guys that struggles with, you know, I might be ready to make the transition right now, where he will have the opportunity to play at the next level, but I'm not sure if that's something he wants to do. He might want to look back and say, great memories, great time at West Jones, is now it's time to move on. I plan on going to college, majoring in engineering. I may play some college football, not decide about that. It's kind of how God takes me in life. Sean Rankin, a little strong safety. Even early last year, kind of wondered if he was ever going to make it as a football player because he didn't have that drive. But all of a sudden, one year makes a. He's our leader on our defense now. Football is my life. They won't let me play because they say how to look. I really didn't let that get to me. And if I get a chance to go to college, I'm going I'm to go try to play. I don't know that he'll be able to play college football anywhere. I wish he could because of his size. I just kind of wish and dream and hope that, you know, they wonder y'all get a chance. You know, fortunately, God willing, I was able to get that chance here. But Wayne counting on my senior year. I'm really focused on going to Jackson. I would, I, I would rather win the state championship than, you know, go to college. Because, you know, state championship, you always going to cherish that. Carlton has been a backup running back for us over the last three years. And this was going to be his senior year. And he was going to start and be our starting running back and towards ACL in the spring. It was my year to step in and shine. But ACL injury had took all that away. If coach let me get in, I'm ready. Then you look over there at him, and he's not pouting, but he's giving you that look kind of coach, you know. Had the opportunity last night to put him in the ball game. I worry when I put him in there because it's one wrong step, and, and he'll, he'll be on crutches for three weeks. Hey, got to cut it up. Cut it up. You, you're not going to age anybody. I just, wanted, I just wanted to give it all I had my senior year so other colleges would look at me as well. But, you know, Stuff happens in life, and life throws you curves. Just got to go with it. So the next play, we sent him left to where he could stick his left foot, and boom, he split the secondary. Great run. It gave you shades of what he could have been had he been well the whole time. But, I mean, everybody was tickled for him because we know how hard he works. If my knee doesn't get better right now, I just try to find something else to do in life. If it gets better, I'll think about going to college and play college ball. I'll go to JC first and then go to the Air Force. I want to leave this town and see what else is going on in the world, make something out of myself. A lot of times they'll ask and they'll say, you know, are there any other prospects? And, and with us, that's our window to say, okay. A, a, a prime example of that is Malik Lofton. He's a kid that has worked really, really hard. He had a great summer, a great off season. Malik has probably been, well, no, there's no probably to it. He's been our most consistent offensive player. I mean, he's finally kind of coming to his own. And he's a, he's a kid that, that's kind of flying under the radar by right now, but come December, January, everybody's going to know who Malik Lofton is. Ain't nothing else I like to do. I just like football. I want to go to Southern Miss and play football. If I can't, if I can't play football, I want to go to be, and be a coach. I'm going to keep working hard. I'm going to just do good on Friday night, and hopefully they'll notice me. If they don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. In a perfect world, you'd like all these kids to go to high school, 
four years of college and then get out and get a $60,000 a year job and make a living. That's not reality. Reality is we all struggle as people trying to figure out who we are, what makes us tick, where we fit, where we want to live, who we're going to marry, do we want to have kids. That's all part of it. Well, you would like to think that the hard work they have to put in, you know, each and every day out here with us will help them to realize their potential as a football player, as a young man, and as a student. And not everybody wants to go to college, you know, but even if you don't want to go to college, be a success in life. I'm missing next year. This is all I've done since I was 12. You know, 10, 12 years old, just playing football.